Hello, YouTube. Um, quick story time, man. I was at the gym, right? I'm at the gym. I was at the park. And, um, you know, doing my usual grounding and just, you know, connecting to nature. And um, I was walking the trail. And there was this woman that was coming my way. Now, she was maybe 40 feet away from me. She was on her phone, right? And I noticed her walking my direction, but I kept walking forward. Tell me why this woman, like, literally looks up and turns around. She doesn't know me from a can of paint, but she literally turns around and just turns around, like, and starts walking. And starts walking even faster. She doesn't know me from a can of paint, but I could tell that she felt my energy, and she literally turned around. And right then and there, I'm like, that woman's no good for me. And I and I, can, I don't got no business messing with her because it's like, our frequencies were not aligned. She was at a low vibra vibrating uh, frequency and I'm at a high vibrating frequency. And I noticed that right off the rip, like when you vibrating high, you're gonna make low vibrating frequencies uncomfortable to the point where they can't talk to you, they can't associate with you anything, you know what I'm saying? And I done had countless interactions where like, if I go to the gas station, they're not, they, they can barely stare at me. They could barely make eye contact with me. And this is for like men. They can't stare at me, they have their head down, or they're kind of just like waiting for me to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't stand me to be around, it's kind of weird. And um, it's either they they notice you and they can't stop staring at you or they ignore you but subconsciously you can't ignore biology like you can't ignore frequencies you can't ignore energy something that you're feeling you know what i'm saying it's auras you feel the aura trust me so either you're going to pay attention to that or you're going to ignore it and not acknowledge it i got some of my i was eating blueberries my bad but it's either you pay attention to it or you ignore it. And me, I'm, I'm aware of my surroundings, I'm aware of body language, I'm aware of everything. So it's just kind of funny what you pick on, what you pick up on when you start raising your vibrations. Like, I don't switch my diet up for the most part. You know, I have my cheat days where I eat, uh, you know, raisin canes and I uh, eat my little cookies and you know, all of that. And my, uh, or they call it the nut butter cookies and you know my drink my sweet tea every now and then but for the most part i've been drinking water every day eat my fruits and veggies I, I just went to the went to meyer and got me some uh watermelon some blueberries some apples what else did i grab i grabbed a lot of veggies i grabbed um what did i grab i grabbed asparagus chopped celery uh, carrots. My son is smiling at me here, <laughs> watching Gracie's Corner right now. That's what you hear in the background. But um, what did I say? I grabbed cucumbers, a lot of cucumbers, and you know, along with the supplements I'm taking, I'm finna uh, take my sea moss in a minute and um, drink my alkaline water and just get ready to attack today. How I wanna. How I want it to pan out, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no complaints, you know, God has blessed me in an abundance, you know, so. Uh, just being patient, man, that's the law of the universe. That's all I can do. You know, it's just gonna be a short video. I just wanted to, you know, give that message to anybody that's listening. Man, keep God first and everything's gonna fall in line for you, trust me. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid of anything that's attacking you because the veil is the veil is lifted, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's true colors is gonna come out. They have no choice but to come out. And it's too late to try to save people like me. When I had my spiritual awakening, I, I got in that mood of like, man, I gotta save everybody. I gotta let everybody know this that, and the third. But after a while, man, you realize that it's too late for that. Like if they not trying to save themselves, it ain't no saving nobody out here, man. Especially if they feel like they ain't got nothing 
But they ain't got nothing to live for as is. They too deep in. So they got to save themselves, man. And I'm talking about on a consistent basis, not just hear a message and be like, all right, I'm saving myself today. And then, you know what? I don't see no progress off of one day of trying to save themselves. And they just give up. Like, no, you have to stay consistent with this. And then you're going to have your awakening. But, um... And don't ask me how long, like, I'm on a streak. Not on my longest streak, but I'm on a streak right now. And I don't know what day I'm on. I don't care to know. I'm just taking it one day at a time. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Peace, love, and blessings.